I do this song better? Wait to the chorus. I'm gonna sing. It's Halloween, people. I can't believe I don't know the song better. I think we all think we know the song. Anyways, alright. So, it's uh, Halloween, and uh, guess what that means? Ha! Ah, I'm doing this Wendy from Wendy's. So, uh, it's a great, it's a great uh, day. Kids are dressing up. We're anticipating being scared out of our pants. You know, pee a little bit in our costumes, out of terror. Who knows? Some of you are hoping to go to a nice Halloween party and meet the love of your life, dressed up as the sexy donut. There's only one sexy donut. And that is a regular donut from Donuts and Deli in Salt Lake or any donut place in California, which Donuts and Deli is just like. So, anyways, that's the only sexy donut that I can find in my life, as if you couldn't tell already. Anyways, so, today's Halloween. We're gonna have a little fun trunk treat at the office where kids who are not yet in kindergarten going to come and go office to office cubicle to cubicle and we get to spike their blood sugar before lunchtime or right as lunch starts so you know I'm doing my part to contribute to diabetes <laughs> I don't know I saw one of these uh, I don't know if it was a joke or not I hope it was a joke but part of me hope it's real but that uh, um, one of the vegetable companies or salad companies that makes those uh, pre-made salads, that's the snack size salads. Wouldn't that be disappointing to get snack size shreds of lettuce? Oh man, trick or treat. That would definitely fall into the trick category. Could you imagine getting snack size salad in your, in your uh, bag. That'd be horrible. Anyway, so I shaved my beard. You know, episode one, I had a beard. Today's episode two, no beard, just the stash. And uh, I actually did this yesterday. And uh, my, <laughs> my two little ones walked around the corner. I, I shaved it at night before I went to bed. And so none of my kids had seen the, seen the change in dad and uh, I'm gonna tell you every single one of them laughed hysterically at me they just laughed they thought it was funny I don't know they said I was like that one professor from uh, Harry Potter the guy who played uh, Ares the god of war and Wonder Woman I don't know what message they're trying to tell me but Anyways, so, all right. Halloween's a big deal. It's a big event. Kids are prepping. You know, what cost? I mean, they've been planning this for years. Or at least one. You know, starting November 1st last year. Actually, probably not. Most kids, I think, started preparing for this, like, right after Easter. Is my guess. Like, like in the U.S., right? Or after... Or after Christmas, New Year's. Got to get through some major holidays first, you know, where you get presents and stuff. But at least since Easter, kids have been preparing for this. And tonight is like the night, like, how many pieces of candy am I going to get? And, uh, you know, this is it. You know, tomorrow, they've got to go to school. And they've got to declare a few items, right? They've got to declare... Uh, how many big candy bars they got, right? Where was the big score at? The quantity of candy, right? And, uh, and anything exciting that happened, right? So, that's the deal. But, what's interesting about this 
whole event is that it ties into event marketing really well. And that's, that's today's marketing topic is event marketing. And uh, uh, when I worked at Franklin Covey, I worked there for almost seven years. A little over six years, I guess. Something like that. Six and a half years. I don't know. Somewhere between six and seven. And, uh, you know, due to the nature of that company, that was a lot of event marketing. And uh, my boss, uh, she had a really great way of simplifying the process. And it's just the same way the kids prepare for Halloween. So there's a before strategy, there's during, and there's after. So like with kids, right, Halloween, all that preparation that goes into that night, right? The perfect costume, or depending on your age, no costume at all, and be brazen enough to go door to door dressed as a teenager, right? And then the during strategy, plotting the homes. Whose neighborhood is going to yield the biggest draw, right? And then the after strategy, which is how do I, you know, when I get home, how do I count this without having my parents confiscate the candy? And then the bragging rights the next day at school. So, event marketing. Now, event doesn't have to be like, a conference it could be it could be almost anything right an event is a specific activity that you are doing with an expected ROI okay and uh, and so what you do is this could be a customer retention campaign okay referral campaign it could be a trade show it could be a conference right but any specific specific event to which you are tracking marketing results, this is gonna work. So the question is, what are the things we need to do before the event to be successful? During the event, what is happening? And after the event, what does the follow-up look like to ensure success? So let's talk, um, let's talk like a conference or a um, workshop type thing. So let's say you're going to hear a speaker, right? So the before strategy is registration. What does registration look and feel like? Is it confirming the promotional materials? Are the confirmation emails uh, validating they made a good decision? Are they more than transactional, right? Are the reminder emails and text messages? What are all those things look like, right? You can't just purely be transactional. And of course, you know, all your emails and promotional items going into it. But it's also like, what about the logistics, right? Are you planning to have the right logistics so when people show up, uh, the right things are happening? So that's where the during strategy, during the event, and this is still part of the planning phase, right? Because you're putting together the strategy. So this is, the strategy is all planning, right? So during the event, when they show up, what do they see? What kind of signage do they see? What types of banners? Where are they at? What type of bag? What type of materials are they getting? When they walk into the room, what are they seeing? What are they experiencing? What are they hearing, right? Are they smelling? Is there food that they smell that they can taste and eat? What's going on, right? And throughout the entire event are all the, the presentation slides on brand. So what's that whole experience like? And then after the event, they've left, it's gone. Follow-up surveys, how did we do? Uh, what, what actions did you ask them to take? What type of follow-through is going through? And then internally, what were your goals that you wanted to achieve? And what's the best way to follow up with people you know, if it's buying something or signing up for whatever. Um, that dude's a crazy driver, man. Do not weave in and out of traffic. It really doesn't make you go faster. And it just makes you look like a jerk. Anyways, that was a side note. So, the after strategy is all those things. You know, what was the primary actions that you wanted people to take? 
And are you following up in a way that continues to lead them down that path? So now this before, during, after strategy, like I said, works for any event. And an event is defined as a specific, specific activity to which you are measuring marketing results. So happy trick-or-treating. Have a horrific time. <laughs> that was so stupid. Horrific. I hope your Halloween is spectacular. And uh, go out and take adopt some kids so you have an excuse to go trick-or-treating if you don't have any of your own just for a night just till they're hopped up on sugar and then drop them back off at home when they can't go back to bed that's what my teenagers do with my young kids anyways hope your Halloween's awesome and uh, talk to you later I'm signing out bye